This device allows you to use a Tesla charger to charge other electric vehicles. Hello everyone, I have a really unique product to review here today. As you are all aware that you can go to any level two chargers and that this looks like this, you can go to any public chargers and just use your J1772 adapter that came with your kit and then plug this into the charger and then you can just plug that into your Tesla and then you start charging. So that is a pretty simple process. We have been doing this, I've used public chargers many, many different times, but that is not what we're talking about today. We're actually gonna reverse the process today. So instead of us plugging into a level two EV chargers and using the adapter to charge the Tesla, what we're gonna go today is use a Tesla charger. So wall connector, destination chargers, Tesla charger that looks like this, and we're gonna use this adapter and we're able to charge any electric vehicle using a Tesla charger. This product comes from Lectern. Uh, Lectern is a leading EV charging accessory company. They have a lot of charging stations, the SAE connectors. There's a lot of charging products on their website, which is linked down below. And matter of fact, we're gonna be reviewing some of those charging stations for our Tesla in the near future. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Shiva Sapkara. I'm an engineer out here in Colorado, USA. We make videos on electric mobility, covering lots and lots of Tesla videos, electric bike and electric scooters. If you like what you see here today, please consider being a channel subscriber. So how this system works is we got this Tesla's mobile connector. We have the NEMA 1450 adapter right here. That is the plug that we have on the wall. That is the 240 volt NEMA 1450. And this side of the mobile connector is the one that goes to Tesla. So this plugs into Tesla. So what we're gonna do is actually first plug this into the wall. So we're gonna plug this into the NEMA 1450 plug right here. And we'll see that Tesla logo light up right here. And over here, what we're gonna do is, this is the Tesla's connector that connects to Tesla. This is the new adapter that we are reviewing today. And all we have to do is push this red button right here, and then we push this in. And it is secure, it's tight. Now all we gotta do is open our EV, and in our port right here, we just have to plug this in. And in just a few seconds, we're gonna start seeing the blinking lights on our Nissan Leaf that shows that the EV is charging. And that's it. That is how simple it is. That is how you can use your Tesla's charger to charge any EVs using this adapter. I'm not too familiar with the charge rate for Nissan Leafs, but this 2019 Nissan Leaf SV was getting 6.6 .6 kilowatt of power using this device, the NEMA 1450 plug and the Tesla's mobile connector. So this is a pretty simple device, some heavy duty cable here, very strong built on this side where you would plug into the EV, the SAE charger. Uh, it has this weatherproof cover right here and um, the mechanism just work. You press this and then it opens and then it locks. And if you want to further lock this, you can put a little lock right here where there is that opening and you, you just have to slide a lock like this and then people won't be able to just unlock your charge port and, and unplug the charge port. So that is the safety measure that they have right there. On the other side, we also have a cover. So there's the plug. All you have to do is press right here on the red and then this opens. And this is where you plug your Tesla connector. There are multiple use cases for this product in general. A couple of them come to my mind are if you have multiple EVs in your household, a lot of you have told me that you have a Nissan Leaf as well as a Tesla or a Mustang Mach-E as well as a Tesla. Then you can utilize the Tesla's charger. So you can purchase the wall connector or your car came with the wall connector like mine for the 240 volt outlet and you can just plug that in and then connect this adapter and just use to charge your other EV that you have in your household. Another great use case for this product is if you're visiting some areas where there are destination chargers in your hotel, uh, in your park, wherever they have the destination chargers, and you want to take advantage of those Tesla destination chargers and charge your EV, you can do that. Destination chargers still work with this adapter. So you just plug in the Tesla adapter from the destination charger and plug this end to your EV and it will work. This product does have a couple of limitations and those are pretty big limitations. For example, this product does 
not work at a supercharger. So you can't just plug this in a supercharger and expect it to work. Uh, it will not work. This is only compatible with the things that are listed in the box. Those are Tesla high power wall connector that you purchase from Tesla, Tesla destination charger at hotels. Normally those are the destination chargers and then a Tesla mobile connector uh, that used to come with the car. I don't know if it still comes with the car these days. Another big limitation that I see on the box is that the output of the destination charger has to be less than 48 amps. So if it, they are using a 50 amp breaker, you're probably good. But if the destination charger output is larger than 48 amps, then uh, this product is not good. So that is also a big limitation. So check your destination charger to make sure this device would be compatible before visiting the charger. That is all for this video. Please let me know in the comment section below what you think about this device. Do you have a use case for this device? Do you see any other use case that I didn't mention on this video? I'm really interested in knowing your feedback. Thank you again for watching this video and continuously supporting our channel. I will be back again with another Tesla video soon. Thank you.